The best way to get to know Linda Alua. Pop the cork on a good Italian red. Sit back and listen. You'll soon discover why Linda is the heart and soul of Venetian hot plate. I don't know Alfredo, and nobody in Italy knows Alfredo. I'm sure there's an Alfredo somewhere. <laughs> but not in Italy. Linda's the driving force behind this cozy cafe's passion for serving authentic northern Italian cuisine. It's as Italian as it can get uh, 10,000 miles from Italy. Because we are on the coast, fish is very important to our uh, menu. We've been coming here for years and love it. The rich flavors of Italy shine in this beautiful cumin roasted rack of lamb. It's a New Zealand rack of lamb in a balsamic reduction. Um, it's very beautiful, it's juicy, and it goes like hotcakes. The captivating flavors of Rome explode in this creamy veal carciofi. Imagine artichoke hearts uh, with the mushroom, it gives the smoothiness to it and with the light cream sauce. There's the to die for scratch made lasagna della mamma, a recipe imported from Linda's mother. So the lasagna um, here has a bechamel instead of a ricotta and it gives it a more creamy texture. But also a little bit of nutmeg in it, very little, and you have a beautiful lasagna. Linda grew up in a family of restaurateurs near Venice, married her sweetheart Mauricio and moved to Philadelphia. Soon after, they started searching for a warmer spot to open a restaurant of their own. There's a friend of mine who sells a restaurant in Port Aransas, Texas. He made it sound it was like Maui. I mean, <laughs> I sort of got to you talking about plants and sunset and things. And so we came down. Well, down. yeah, Maui in Texas, who wouldn't be, right? We realized it was not Maui. The guy was full of it. But the first day that we arrived, uh, Maurice didn't even want to park here. He put in reverse and we were leaving. And I said, stop everything. Uh, eventually, there was something about this island. There was the funkiness of it, that there was an energy. So captivating, Linda convinced Mauricio to stay and open Venetian hot plate just a few blocks from the beach. Because they give us six months because we didn't have the um, ranch dressing and we didn't have fried food. <laughs> so they gave you six months to survive? Yeah. Yeah, and there were six months, so 23 years later, it's like, you know. That all started a decades-long love affair with this tight-knit community. A community also put to the test when Harvey came calling. We walk in, third of this was caved in, everything was wet on the back. So this was totally gutted and retired? Totally gutted, yeah, it was on studs. Everything was there ever was a moment of time when you saw that and you thought, I'm not sure I'll stay. Just a moment like that. And then I said, nope, I gotta change the energy. And I said, I gotta reopen the restaurant, like it or not, just suck it up and make it happen. Linda credits her dedicated team for having her back after the storm, and also for seeing her through the biggest storm of all, when her husband of 24 years, Mauricio, became ill. So the whole community got together. Next thing I know, there was $5,000 in the bank. They all donated blood. Um, it, it, it's just unbelievable, and they kept me supporting through the whole years until he died. It was magnificent, unbelievable, these people. Sous Chef Domingo has been with the restaurant since the beginning. And executive chef Mark Pulich, a Katrina survivor, started in 2005. He took over the reins after Mauricio died. He stirs up his beloved recipes like this scrumptious seafood appetizer. We are making the mixed Misto mare. Misto mare. Mm -hmm. Misto mare. You got it. So what we do is we start off with a little bit of oil in the pan. The oh, shrimp. Gulf shrimp. You yep. got it, yeah. A little bit of scallop. We're going to put a little bit of garlic in. Fresh mussels and clams also go into this delicious dish. Then comes the kick. Hold your breath. Ah. Oh, yeah. Now that garlic's really coming mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. A little bit of the chili pepper, yeah. too. It's a spicy dish. All served on, wait for it, a sizzling Venetian hot plate. Ching ching. Well, that's good. Oh, I just got the kick. I love it. <laughs> so sip some wine with Linda and soak it all in. The delicious food, the beauty of the beach, and the love and warmth that's waiting for you in Port Aransas at Venetian Hot Plate. I love Venetian Hot Plate. Love, love, love it. And Linda, I mean, come on. You can't get any better than that, so.